There's a saying that goes something like, to be a great leader, you have to serve humanity. We have just an amazing, kind, compassionate, and caring community here in the village of Palmetto Bay. I think the residents have really stepped up in every way. They're a very educated group of folks. They're a very engaged group of folks. If I had to pick one group out of all the residents, it would be the children. I've enjoyed doing my Mayor for the Day program. I've really enjoyed having the children come into Village Hall. They inspire me. I hope in some capacity we inspire them as well to know that they can reach their full capacity no matter what they do. I think it's so important to instill in children that if you have a passion, just kind of run with it and see where it takes you because the journey is long, hopefully, and the journey is fun. Across the course of the last several years, in both my capacity as councilwoman and then as mayor, there have been a lot of projects that I've been extremely passionate about. We are the village of parks, which I think really is the most important component of, of everything we do and the resources that we put into our village. I'm so proud that we've been able to expand our green space. We have upcoming Veterans Park, uh, which I think is going to be an extremely important component in our village. We are in the works of adding a linear park, the Tanglewood Linear Park. We're looking at other park spaces where we're able to create the initiative of having a green space within one mile of every home in the village. I think that's probably one of the most impactful things we've done. I'm super excited about the upcoming multi-purpose room at Coral Reef Park. Long time coming, I think it's gonna give the community at large the ability to have an enclosed space where they can come together as a community. We're looking at a lot of other park improvements including playgrounds and skate park at Palmetto Bay Park. Pickleball, which is all the rage all across the nation. It's gonna be really awesome to have designated pickleball courts at Palmetto Bay Park. So just engaging folks with our green spaces, bringing people together. I think that's one of the things we've learned over the course of the last several years after the pandemic is that these community gathering spaces are super important. Outdoor spaces are super important and Palmetto Bay has always been on the cutting edge of green space. I couldn't be any prouder than our partnership with South Motors to acquire the Veterans Park property. I think this is going to be a real game changer, not just in Palmetto Bay, but all across South Dade. A place where our veterans can come to reflect, a place where students can come uh, to learn. I think it's very important to pay tribute uh, to the veterans in our community. We are a village with over 700 veterans living right here in eight square miles. And so I'm super proud of this initiative. It's been a long time coming and looking forward, as I always am, to a good ribbon cutting. I think one of the most important jobs of a community council is to pass a balanced budget. Uh, I think we've done great work and taken great strides over the course of the last five years under our current manager, Nick Morano, in setting the fiscal ship straight here in the village. We're really able to put money away, which is very important, got to have that rainy day savings, and then also have money in our general fund and within each one of our departments to work on important initiatives that are the priorities of our communities. Thinking of things like street paving, thinking of things like sidewalks, these sub-basin projects which really are super important to the sustainability of the village of Palmetto Bay but also South Florida because we know that what impacts one community impacts another community. Uh, so to say that I'm proud is probably an understatement of the work we've done in our budget and we're going to continue moving in that positive direction. When I first moved into the village of Palmetto Bay in around 1995, my husband and I looked and said, wow, this is really a big deal. Look at where we're living. Look at the neighborhood that we're living in. And that was almost 30 years ago. 
Everything that we've done in the village, I think, builds legacy for the village of Palmetto Bay, whether it's park spaces, sound finances, infrastructure projects, acquiring more green spaces, making our parks the most beautiful gems in all of Miami-Dade County. It's the reason people move to this community. Partnerships with our schools, partnerships with the faith-based community. These partnerships build a stronger community. The village of Palmetto Bay is filled with so many recreational opportunities, so many events and programming that we bring, whether it's for our seniors, our young people. It's what draws people to the village of Palmetto Bay. I think really, at the end of the day, the biggest legacy you can leave is just people that will carry on the great legacy of the village.